Bays have been shooting. Rebound by 35, McCartney. Gilmore looking for it. Oh, and he will fall and appears to be hurt. He limps over, and it's going to be a turnover. 61-49. He's trying to walk it off. Gilmore is hurt and is trying to walk it off. Back into the game come 44, West Salyer. What? Gilmore, it appeared to be his right ankle. He went down a little hard on. Down will come Puckett. Oh, and that was something that the ref didn't see. Number 22, Addington tried to kick the ball, and no call is made. Jump ball, possession goes to Twin Springs. Still a missed call on the ref's behalf. Clearly standing right in front of the ref, he kicked his leg out. Missed, rebound, oh, and the foul. Gilmore showing a little emotion on that one. <laughs> the score is 61 to 49, 617 left in the fourth period. The first shot is up and in. Sixty-two, forty-nine, with six seventeen left. The second one drops in, sixty-three, forty-nine. Ball being brought down by Puckett again. Pass over to Long, shoots the three, and it is in there. Six goal, four left, fifty-two, sixty-three, down by eleven. Pass inside. Back out to Addington. Pass over to Powers. Takes the man off of him. Looking over to Porter, who's had a good ball game tonight. It appears like it's going to be stolen away. And yes, he goes past. The ball will be turned over. Turns. Ball, 63-52. Good drive, Mr. Bucket. Oh! And Twin Springs will get the ball back. 44, Salyer will have it. 22, driving. There's Bays again. Double dribble, and Irvington will take it right back. So again, a sloppy ball game. Go, 34, Gilmore with the ball. Two men on him. Looks for the pass inside. Shoots up a three, will hit off the front of the rim. Rebound, off the board and scores for Gilmore. The score is now 54-63, 5 6 left. Five second violation. Timeout being called on Twin Springs side. Ovington trying to rally. They're only down by nine now. in the game, 63-54. Irvington back down by nine to the Twin Springs Titans. I don't know, I'll wait till he stands up and it's kind of nice to see his face and I'll try to carry him. Go, Anything like a 
down the court goes Twins Queens. 24 power shoots it up. Oh, and score it. Even though Gilmore, no, Gilmore had a finger on it. Twin Springs on top, 40, uh, 440 left in the ball game. Go Rebel! 23 Puckett brings it down, pitch out to Long, shoots the three, will be overshot, rebounded by Puckett, and it will drop. 56-66, 10 point lead. Twin Springs pushing it down the court. Up to Addington, over the powers, back to Addington. Down, inside. Yes! That will be a rock call against Bays and Irvington will get it back with 4-11 left. 66-56, Irvington's going to have to really do some work to get this ball game pulled back, pulled in any closer. Puckett brings the ball down, all by self, pass underneath, thrown up, thrown up, and Powers will end up with the handle on it. Now 22, Addington, looking wide open, no one there, left a huge lane down the middle. Four days, just a run right down, Gilmore jumps, shoots, a little too hard, run down. Gilmore has fouled again. He is having a rough night, and this kid is a really good ball player. Who they are pushing for? He's gone. If I have read the referee's signal correctly, Gilmore is gone for the game, and this could be 
This could be it. The 341 left, 68 56. Yep. Yes, he's sitting down and icing his hand over. Give him credit, ladies and gentlemen. He come in really wanting to win this ball game and played, played hard. Rebounded, great rebound by number 15. Bringing it back down is number 23. Shoots, Sand will miss it. Possession line has gone back to Twin Springs. Irvington appears to be shooting a one and one. Park it again, shooting the one and one. In for his number 20, Turner, for Irvington, in place of the fouled out Gilman. He hits the first one, 57, 68, and the second. Excuse me, the second one was will drop with 3.33 left, 68-58. It is 10, a 10-point 10 deficit. Pass underneath, and that's going to be another score. By number 52, Porter. 70 to 58, 3.18. Yeah. And he will draw the foul. Irvington's ball. Ken <laughs> Springs crowd getting back into the ball game. 70 to 58, 318 left. In the 23, Puckett shoots. Go one and one, and hits the first one. 59, 318. He can pull it back within 10 if he hits this one. And does so, nothing but net on that one. 318 left, 60, 70. Down, goes Addington, pass it stolen. Pass over the long, too hard, but a foul. A foul, I believe, will go to number 23 of Irvington. Puckett. Uh, he will be pushing, so Twin Springs will get it. And well, I wasn't going to say that. They're going to set him down. And in the ball game for him will be number 12, Martin. The first one by Powers is shot and scored. 71-60, 309 left in the fourth period. And the game. Irvington will bring the ball back down court. Looking for the shot. Under to number 20. Back out to Long. He takes the three and hits it. Nothing but net. 63-72, 2.45 left. Inside to Porter. Rolls it in. 74, 63, 237 left. Now 15, Marshall. Into 20, Turner. To 14, Long. Back to Marshall. Shoots, will fall short. Rebounded by Powers. Downfield to Porter. Pulls up to Addington, who brings it around. Finally, they get the foul on.
Again, Twin Springs pulls all their players back to just beyond the midcourt area. Only Irvington in to rebound the ball. Twin Springs just going to play a tough defense and hold on to the lead that they've got. With 2.13 left, the score is 75 to 63. Twin Springs on top. Number 20 bats it away. And that look. Number 24 Powers passed it inside. Oh! As Porter took off, ball, but it's all right. In comes Marshall, knocks it away, throws it back in. The number 20, Turner, back up to 12. Now to 14 long and he will be short. And that's gonna be a foul. A foul on Long, who has played really hard tonight, along with his two teammates, Gilmore, and number 23, Puckett. Those two are which, which are benched at this point in time. 42, Faze shoots the one and one and misses the first. Three point shot thrown up, falls short, thrown back in, right to Baze. Ooh! All over Baze and over another foul. The score 75-63. With what appears to be a minute 31 on the board. Twin Springs in the lead. Again, they've got everybody pulled back, just waiting to set their defense. When Irvington rebounds, it comes down. Yes. Bays, it's the first one of the one and one. A minute 31 left, 76 63 now. Twin Springs on top. And the second one drops. 77 63 with a minute 20. Okay. Seven, a minute 27 left on the board. Number 14 long will be fouled by number 44, West Stallion. take the bench. In his place will come in number 32, Addington again. Oh, excuse me, number 32, Jones, Henry Jones. Number 14, Long shoots the one and one and hits the first one with a minute 24 left. The score is 77-64. Fourth and final period. And they miss the second. Powers looking for the shot, looking for someone to pass it off to. Gets it to Bayes, and he will lay it in. 79-64 with a minute 09 left. Long looks, turns, shoots, and will be off the front of the goal. Irvington can't seem to get anything to drop tonight. It will be Irvington's ball. The crowd on their feet, 79-64, 57.4 seconds left in this. Three-point shot will fall short, rebounded by number 52, Porter, who will throw it up to number 24, Powers, who does a little juke, a couple of moves. It'll be slapped away. Finally, we'll get it over to Addington, who is fouled. The people are starting to pour out of here. With 42 seconds left, the score is 79-64. The Twin Springs Titans winning and appear to be on their way to the Cumberland District 
Tournament Championship where they will face the Rock Hill War Eagles who won earlier. Passing it around, shoots for the three, will not make it. Number 15, Marshall, throws it up, misses again. Number 14, Long, finally puts it in. 66-79, 20 seconds now on the clock. And it, a foul, number 15, Marshall. Number 52 will set down. He's had an incredible night. Just a couple of them back. A uh, new one. We don't know. Number four has checked in. Last Austin name Howard. For the Irvington Rebels. The score is 80 to 66 with 20 seconds left. 20 seconds left in the fourth and final period. Long with the ball, shoots for the three, will be missed. Long down court to number 32, Jones. A foul is called on, I believe, number 12, Martin of the Rebels. Number 32. Henry Jones will shoot from the charity stripe. <laughs> He'll take his second shot after missing the first. With 3.6 seconds left, it is 80 to 66. He misses the second. One long shot, will be missed. That's the game. Three Springs will go on to face Rock Hope tomorrow night right here in Rock Hope High School. Twin Springs wins it. 80 to 66. I'm Hank Rogers. Your play-by-play -play man and Amy Davis on camera. That'll be all from Rock Hove High School tonight. Okay. Wow. Tell the score, Hank. Tell the score. Once again, the